Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, have you ever wanted to put some holes in a line evenly spaced? You can tell it the length over which you've got the holes and the hole diameter, the number of holes. We're going to do that. We're going to calculate the spacing, the pitch, and the distance from the left edge so that we can place one. And then we're going to use a linear pattern to place the rest. So we're going to do that. Obviously, it's all spreadsheet driven and it's going to be fully parametric. So I'm going to show you how to end up with that result. And then you can use that in other models. So let's get started. Now we're going to start out. We'll create a new file. We're in the part design workbench. We're going to create a part, a body and a sketch. And we'll do it on the XY plane. Now what we want is some kind of a piece that we can put this, the holes and set up the whole um, array on. So I'm just going to create something like this. I'm going to give it a dimension here. I'm going to give it a dimension here. And I'm not setting any of this up parametrically yet. I'm just going to position everything. So I'm just going to take this corner or this corner and this corner to the center. And I'm just going to make that symmetrical. I could have equally, I could have used a centered rectangle would have done the same thing. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You do it how you want to do it. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to make that a pad. I'm just going to make the pad three millimeters thick because uh, just because I can. So again, I, I didn't make that parametric. And then what I'm going to do is create another sketch. Also on the XY plane. We want to see through our sketch down the middle sectioned. So we're going to drop a hole on there. And that hole is going to have a diameter. We'll call it 10 for now. And it's going to have a dimension that comes from the middle. like that and we are done so that gives us a hole and i'm going to close that i'm going to make that hole through there i'm going to reverse it so that we can see it through and say okay so now you can see all i've done is i've created the basic parts that we need to be able to create a parametric uh, set of holes now what I want to do is to go into the spreadsheet workbench and there's other ways you can do this, but I like the spreadsheet workbench just because it's easy. Um, it's simple to understand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create parametric information for each of those um, pieces that we need. So we're going to we'll run through those one by one. And the first thing that we're going to have is the length. Then we're going to have a whole diameter. We're going to have the number of holes. And then we have, I'm just going to move this over so that we can see what we're doing here. Then we have spacing and pitch and distance from left. I'm just going to make that whole damn out. I don't like to have spaces in there. You can have spaces, but I just don't like it. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to highlight those. And I'm going to bold those, that text. Now I'm going to put in my uh, length. So that's going to be a number that I can select. My whole diameter. I'm going to select that as well and the number of holes so those are all selectable and those are the ones i will adjust the next three are going to be calculated so what we're going to do is we are going to alias this and we're going to alias it to the length and we're going to alias this to hole diameter 
which apparently still has a gap in it and I told it not to there we go gonna alias this one as hole diameter gonna alias this one as number of holes and of course you can use the easy alias which I have here easy alias is a script if I click that it's going to alias these guys for me and so I don't have to do all of that myself so it's just done the same thing that I did here I just did it with the macro easy alias so you can do it manually if you want to or you can just use that e easy alias macro and if you google easy alias macro you'll find it some people have told me they can't find it in the add-on manager some people have said it's not there but you can google it and you can find it there's a, a git for it and you can download it from there if you have any problems leave a comment and i'll uh, try and make it available to you okay so let's have a look at the math that's involved in the spacing so the spacing is going to equal the length pick that minus hole diameter times number of holes and that's going to be all in parentheses Then it's going to be divided by parentheses number of holes plus one. So that will give me my spacing between the holes based on the parameters I put in here. My pitch is going to equal parentheses the length. plus the hole diameter divided by the number of holes plus one and then the distance from the left that's going to equal the spacing that I've already calculated plus the whole diameter divided by two and that's going to give me all of my calculated numbers now what I like to do is I always put calculated alongside the ones that are calculated that just reminds me not to change them manually you can use your own way of signifying that but i like to do it this way that way i don't when i come back to this later i don't go ahead and just change those without realizing that they're calculated okay so now we have all of the information in the spreadsheet that we need we need to assign it to these simple parts so let's go back into our pad sketch this one notice i didn't make the width parametric what i'm going to do is i'm going to make that 30. And the reason i'm making that 30 is i have a 15 hole in the middle so i don't want that to be too small i could equally have a width and then have that based on the diameter and say the diameter plus an amount certainly something you can do so we're going to add our parametric information to this dimension so you just double click the dimension to edit it you hit this enter an expression and then the expression here is going to be spreadsheet and length is the dimension that we need for this one and there it is and then we're going to do the same thing for this sketch so there's a little bit of extra math involved here what we're going to do is we're going to take this one first and we're going to tell it it's equal to the spreadsheet and we're going to tell it it's a uh, hole diameter 
So now that's 15 millimeters. Then I want this to be equal to the distance from the left. So it would come from here to here. So I need to do a little bit of math here. I'm just going to add it here. I could equally do this in the spreadsheet, but I'm not going to. I'm going to say this is equal to... Um, this is going to be spreadsheet length divided by 2 and then minus the distance from the left. Uh, it's a spreadsheet distance from the left. So that puts the hole in the right place. And it also gives the hole the right dimension. So we're going to close that. Now my hole is in the right place. And we have the right dimension. Now what we want to do, we're going to go back to our part design. And we're going to select our pocket. And we're going to say it's a linear array. Linear array has a couple of modes. We're going to change it to an offset mode because we have a pitch that we've um, calculated. So this right away is going to be equal to the spreadsheet pitch. And then our number of, a, of holes is going to be our occurrence. So that's going to be equal to the spreadsheet. And number of holes. And then we're just going to say OK there. So now we have a parametric bar where... It doesn't matter what size we make this, how many holes. If I say that's now um, 15 holes, now we get 15 holes evenly spaced. I'm going to just go here and zoom in for you. So now we've got 15 holes that are evenly spaced. We can say we want that over 900 length. And then I can say I want the hole diameter to be 25. And I can say, I now want there to be 20 holes. So you can see this will automatically resize based on the number of holes, the hole diameter and the length. And it will automatically distribute those based on these calculations and the linear array. Simple, parametric, powerful, easy. Um, something that you can do in your models. You can just take this same spreadsheet approach in your model where you have a row of holes. I often find myself making things where I want things to be evenly spaced. And the most simple evenly spacing is where you have one hole in the middle and then symmetrically linear array either side. But it doesn't always work out that way when you do this. You don't always have a hole right in the middle. So this way it works from the left edge, puts the first hole in its position, and then works a pitch all the way across. So the distance from the right edge to the center and the left edge to the center is identical. If you have questions, comments, if there are other things you want to see, other things you think we should do, feel free to let me know. Um, leave a comment on this video. If you haven't subscribed already and you want to see more of these types of tips, Go ahead and subscribe. It's free. doesn't cost you anything. So, And you can be subscribed to multiple channels, as you probably know. So um, there's no reason not to subscribe. That'll let you know when I publish a new video. Also give you a chance to come back and look at all the videos that we've already done. This is number 29 in this series. Uh, I intend to do a few more in this series, and then we might look at something else. Um, as far as things that you want to see or things that you're interested in if there are other things i did some stuff on cam i did some stuff with tech draw or other subjects more than happy to cover those just let me know what you're looking for 
If you want to contribute to the channel, you can become a member of this channel on YouTube, or you can join our Patreon where you get the videos early, or you can just buy me a coffee. I appreciate that too. Uh, coffees for me get converted to beers as I'm English. That's our currency. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate it. I'll look forward to making the next video. Oh, one other thing that I forgot to mention. Join us on Reddit. We have a subreddit, CAD Beginners. If you want to join us there, the link is below. Thanks.